What's up? Hello, good morning, y'all. All right. Let me get this connection right there. How's it going, everybody? Good morning. Robocup reporting for duty. Ah, oh, yes. Good morning, Jacob. Good morning, Joshua. It is a uh, sunny and bright. A little bit chilly this morning, but a sunny day here in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Good morning, Rhonda. And it's Friday. It's the weekend, baby. We're about to get right into it. If you're just joining me, feel free to click the subscribe or the like button down there. Please share. Um, it's really the only way of getting this out there. I'm trying to grow it. This little program, this little three points show. And uh, if you would, please, please share this video and uh, write a little caption. Uh, for whatever reason, Facebook analytics, if you write a little caption as you share something, then more people see it, more people like it, see it. I don't know why that is, but we're about to get right into it. Just give a couple more minutes, a couple little more seconds for everybody to come in and uh, get right into it here. Sorry about the extreme backlight there this morning. It's been a cloudy day and my lighting has changed. It's been a cloudy week, I guess. All right, let's not wait any longer. Let's get right into it. Here we go. Hello, good morning, what's up everybody? Today is Friday, January 31st. We're live here in Tulsa, Oklahoma. My name is Nathan Gray. You're watching three points. First off, tonight at midnight, Great Britain will become the first country to ever leave the European Union, finalizing the Brexit referendum that began in 2016. After 47 years of post-war European unity, this nationalist movement will deprive the EU of 15% of its economy. The EU Council in Brussels remove the, will remove the Union Jack from their building at 7 p.m. tonight. Moving right along. Yesterday in Syria, airstrikes by Syrian government in Russian airplanes on a, on, uh, a, carried out an attack on a bakery and a medical cl clinic in the rebel-held region of Idlib, claiming the lives of at least 11 civilians. Another 24 people were injured in the attacks, which Russia denied any involvement. In the past two days, some 20,000 Syrians were displaced due to the attacks, adding to the 115,000 who left their homes just last week. And lastly, this morning in D.C., Democratic frontrunner Senator Bernie Sanders announced a plan to expand the Americans with Disabilities Act, which uh, has its 30th anniversary today, effectively treating disability rights as civil rights. The plan would increase employment opportunities for the disabled as well as voting access, affordable housing, transportation, nutrition, and would address the extreme problem of incarcerating and abusing people with mental and physical handicaps. Under Bernie's P Medicare plan, Medicare for All plan, fair compensation and provisions for home health care workers as well as early child care workers are included as well. Feel the burn. And that about finishes off the gourd for today. I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. Until next time, you've been watching Three Points. <laughs>